Anyway, we just saved Amy Rose. She's safe now. She's saved, okay? I'd like to point that out at this point, that she's completely and utterly safe. And now I can just get through the level really, really, really fast because I don't have to stop for anything. But yeah, Amy Rose is safe now. Uh, stress that she's safe because at the end of the game, it seems like you're saving her from Eggman. And his ingenious device of um, worst boss ever. Worst final boss ever, anyway. So, my question here is simply, why didn't Sonic, like, save her and make her be safe? And why is it portrayed as if um, she's in danger at the end of the game? And now I'm going through the Metallic Madness Zone, which again joins our alliterated theme. Ah, oh, collision detection! Fortunately, I just hit a um, continue point, and besides, um, well, that was embarrassing. So, yeah, so besides um, game overs, I'm not really concerned about losing life and rings anymore. So, Metallic Madness Zone, which is really a remake completely of the um, Scrap Brain Zone from the previous game. But I don't mind, because it's actually a pretty cool zone. Unfortunately, the um, American music here is just not climactic enough. Whereas, in the um, Japanese version, you've got like some little rap going, Sonic, dead or alive, he's mine. <laughs> Which is really, really, really cool. And plus, it's got the rapping guy going like, He's dead, he's dead, don't get back in the it's just really, really, really cool and, you know, fitting for a final level, whereas this is just... You are in a boring robotic world! Which is dull as hell. I want something which makes it feel like, yes, I'm at the end of the game, I'm gonna beat the crap out of Eggman, it's all gonna end tonight, here on ESPN. Be there, or be square. And so, here I go through the level. Oh! I accidentally got myself hurt then, because I was jumping blindly across the level. And that was because I was trying to jump where there was no freaking thing above me. Okay, so I am embarrassing myself a bit. Ah, oh, Spencer Nielsen, your guitar and you can go to hell. All you do is freaking do a stupid little... Sounds, which just piss me off. I hate you, Spencer Nielsen. I hate you. You can go suck a sage. Stupid Spencer Nielsen. I'll kill you in the street. Oh, continuing on with level, we get to the very, very, very cool bit which comes up. The very, very cool bits are two things. First of all, you've got the walkers, where you have to jump onto legs, which will, um... Sorry about that. Yep. Where are they? Come on, walkers. There we go. You stand on one, you stand on the other, and they sort of walk along. I don't know how it works, because these don't seem to be switches, they just seem to be inanimate objects which bounce whenever you, um, touch them. But they are very cool. And the second cool thing is you get to become Chibi Sonic! Kawaii! Oh, Chibi Sonic! Ah, Chibi Sonic! You are so cute! There we go, and his eyes are bigger than his head. And now we have to jump through the very, very, very cute small bit, which causes this level to become very, very long and annoying. However, it's almost over, people. It's almost over. I'm going to insist that anybody who listens to this just skip along to Tidal Tempest and um, Stardust Speedway because I really don't think I've said anything during this entire time which would entertain anybody besides my um, hissy fits. And now Kawaii Sonic is trying to get through all of these little traps which are designed specifically for Kawaii Sonic. Had Eggman have not put the shrinking ray in, then perhaps, just perhaps.
then just perhaps, sorry, he wouldn't have been turned, he wouldn't have been able to get through this level. It just wouldn't have happened. He'd be too small to manage. If I were a smart person, I would have tried to see what would happen if I got through the rest of that level as a small guy, but I'm pretty sure that there is a mandatory um, sizing switch somewhere. So, back as Gigantic Sonic, I'm waiting for these Tetris blocks to fall down, which has got to be the stupidest death trap ever. Why would Eggman decide to create these spikes which fall down upon you, which you can do nothing about, and leave freaking holes in them? Fortunately, it's over now. Final level of the game. Come on! When you feel the look yourself, as in your heart you'll find a special place to unwind. Unfortunately, I won't hear that. I'll hear the um, extended version of Sonic Boom. Um, I like that version though, so I'll let it go.